red for Valentine's Day. Groundbreaking. Hello beautiful people, I'm Angel Gabriella Nichols and today we are talking Asian provocateur luxury lingerie just in time for Valentine's Day. In today's video, well, nobody asked to see it but I'll be showing you my underwear basically. We're going to have a little look at their Valentine's Day collection and I'll tell you what I think about it um, and then also we're gonna you know I'm gonna give you some advice so if you're looking to buy for somebody else I have some advice on what to do to make sure that you make the right decision and the right choices and of course I'll have some tips as well if you're buying for yourself and what to always remember I'm going to take you through some pieces that I snapped up in the Asian provocateur sale lingerie doesn't have to be daunting it's supposed to be fun Fun. Everything mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below so you can, you know, click away to your heart's content. So whether you're not into luxury lingerie, I hope you still find this useful and, you know, hopefully maybe it sparks a new love affair. But first, welcome to my channel where the love language is fashion, beauty and life and today it's all about lingerie. <laughs> if you like it here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell and let's share all of that good stuff. Are you ready? Let's go. I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, my grandmother and mother literally put fear in me. You know with that old adage about if you get into an accident and the paramedics have to like cut open your clothes that you better not be wearing you know any underwear that is less than less than at least decent basically um my mum has always been into you know being a bit more feminine into ladylike things that's definitely rubbed off on me when i was very young we actually went to asian provocateur together and had a look around and i absolutely then fell in love with lingerie so yes on occasion i am one of those people who likes to match their underwear <laughs> to their clothing. Some might call that pedantic, I just call it human decency. But anyway, we're not here to shame. Whatever you do, whether you like to mix and match or, you know, go wild with your underwear choices or not, each to their own. Valentine's Day is coming up soon. Whether you're celebrating by yourself, with your girls, on a Zoom call, or, you know, you're actually able to be there with the one that you love, like, desire, or even just mildly tolerate. Valentine's Day is a great occasion to show somebody that you care, or at least, you know, show yourself that you care about you. Asian Provocateur, a brand synonymous with gorgeous, luxurious, sexy lingerie, has launched their latest Valentine's Day collection. So, Let's see what we think, huh? So, my first um, impression, acrobatic, acrobatic. Um, gorgeous red lingerie. Now, Asia Provocateur, I think, is always um, really consistent in their quality of items, um, but obviously it is lingerie, so you have to be a bit careful because it's delicate. From a visual perspective, I think these visuals are absolutely stunning. Of course, like, you know, there's there's a lack of diversity here and inclusion. Um, I know that they've tried to change that up in um, some previous years. I know some of the other models are probably, you know, you'll probably see a bit more about that, but it's still that very supermodel S bod. But you know, we're not just here for that. We're here, we're here for the um, the merchandise. They've they seem to have split this up into a few different categories. So we've got um, one based on desire, then seduction, which is a bit darker, which looks slightly more intricate, um, and then pulse racing, which. I guess this is a really great option because some of us just, you know, we just go for the staple black. You can't go wrong with that and just tend to shy away from vibrant colours with our underwear. And then as usual, some lovely accessories and that's probably the most exciting bit. But let's have a look at the lookbook. So this stunning red set, it looks like it's satin with um, some lace detail. I think this is a really classic and like I wouldn't call it simple, but it's a very straightforward set to go for. If you were gifting this for somebody else and you absolutely 100% know their exact sizing, this is great, but also even just for yourself, I, I don't think this, how could this fail really? Um, it's gorgeous, this set. 
and it also comes in pink, uh, which I don't like so much, but the red set, yeah, loving that. Milena, or Milena, Milena? So anyway, so this is a plunge underwire set and it's, oh, it's stunning actually. Um, I, my preference, I quite like the black, but the pink is very demure. So if you're a bit, I guess, girlier, go for that. But the black one, oof, look at that. And look at that bod. Like, I love that they're doing a bit more diversity in the terms of like a more voluptuous body shape. I still think they could go a little bit further with this, but in terms of the underwear, the heart detail on this is just gorgeous and I think if I was wearing this I would feel so so confident um, wearing this underneath out for dinner or whenever yeah beautiful beautiful piece going on to Lorna Lorna is I believe like a like tried and tested you could call it range from Agent Provocateur so this seems like more of an older range and they've just updated the colour for Valentine's Day so what I quite like about this which is one I one of the ones I got is that some of them are still in the sale and there's so many colours to pick from like I think next I would get the, I think they've got, I can't really get to it here, but I'm sh I think they have a brown version, which I think would be gorgeous on darker skin tones like mine. Other than that, I do really love this um, more fuchsia pink with the red bows and satin. I love pink and red together. So I think this is a gorgeous one. Plus you can get it in more basic colorways or traditional classic colorways. Um, I think this is going to be a really flattering, uh, a flattering set. Look at that in pink, look at it, oh, very nice, very nice. And the scallop edging just makes it like a little bit more girly. I think this is a really, really special. Good on you, Asia Provocateur. So we then have a more seductive little bit from Asia Provocateur here with some cutout, interesting. But then this set is is actually pretty gorgeous. It's kima it, it's a kimono um, called Harlo in at £1,095. Wow, what can I say? It looks so intricate. I actually love that they paired it with those little fluffy heels. This looks like it should be silk. I imagine for that price, it's gotta be silk, right? But uh, yeah, stunning, a stunning piece. I think this is one of those ones that's actually really easily giftable piece because you don't have to worry too much about sizing. I just love the dramaticness of the of the arms. Um, and yeah, I think this is really special. I would, I would love to wear this swanning about the house. So within Harlow, you also have this range, which to be honest, isn't my favorite, but I know people really sometimes love that, like either asymmetric or very strappy look on things. Um, it's not really my go-to with underwear. And I'd actually say if you were gifting this, I would probably stay away from it because the straps on the briefs aren't always, how can I put this? It's, they don't always leave everybody feeling um, super confident and like dig into the skin or flesh and maybe maybe they're not so comfortable. I think it's a nice looking set and a nice looking piece, but to be honest, it doesn't quite do it. It doesn't quite do it for me, this one, but I do like how they've tried to mix the um, black and red and have added something a little bit extra to wear underneath the kimono. Oh, and then Randy. So what is this giving me? This is giving me kind of all sorts of vibes, but I don't really quite know quite what. Like, they, are they, is it Harlequin? Is it a pack of a pack of playing cards? Um, I don't quite know. This diamond shape, Moulin Rouge, is it? I'm not quite sure. Again, not for me. Although I appreciate this looks amazing on this model. Um, oh, okay. So sorry, no, those are nipple covers. So your nipples are just supposed to like poke through. I wouldn't say this is the epitome of luxury, but if you're into a bit of kink, why not? Um, is that kink? It's not, it's just a bra, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a very giftable piece at all. And I probably wouldn't purchase it either. I wouldn't see that being very, very wearable. The thing I like from lingerie as well is not just buying pieces that you can only wear you know, for one evening. I like to make sure that it's something that I can wear in my daily life too. Okay, so this is one of my favorite sets. 
um, called Cupid. I'm pretty sure they created this for Valentine's Day and I think it's just so pretty. It's a bit girly, let's be honest. It's not, I wouldn't say this is high seduction. Um, this is definitely a more girly, wearable set that's just very pretty. I think it's, yeah, I just, there's not really much I should, I can say about this other than very cute, very delicate looking, very sweet essentially. And if that's not what you're going for for Valentine's Day, maybe don't buy this one. So in the rest of their range, just having a little skim through, they've got some things that were there previously for Valentine's Day. So I think they've just kind of done a bit of a, more of an edit on their range and some newer things that are, are coming into the sale. Um, I'd say definitely go and check out their sale, especially if you want to stock up on some more lingerie. So for the buying guide for yourself, I think there's some really key things to remember when it comes to lingerie. Um, it's very easy to pick something that's not gonna quite work for you and it's true what they say, size really does matter. My first tip, always refer to the size guide on the lingerie's website. Different brands might have a different sizing, whether that's UK, they're doing it US, or it's French or something. So you wanna make sure that you've converted your bra size to the right um, size that's on their website, because it can get confusing because some of the sizes look very similar, but they might be completely wrong. So always refer to the size guide. Next up is to all Always measure whenever I'm purchasing lingerie and I've made this mistake in the past that I haven't measured um, some of us like our weights do fluctuate as Rihanna would say like blessed with a fluctuating body type um, and sometimes that does happen but not only that maybe their sizing is a little off and you kind of fit in or fall into a different kind of bracket so I would check out their size guide on the website make sure you have a tape measure and just measure as they say you just measure um, from the bottom um, you know below your below your um, boobs and then on top at the fullest part, of course, and then you can flex from there. Next up, double up. So if you have the cash available, I would always recommend to, especially if you're buying from a new brand and you're not sure on how their sizing fits, a lot of work goes into bras. You know, it's no surprise that different brands, sometimes even the same size can fit a bit differently. So for that reason, I would suggest to double up and purchase two of the same. Either go up or down a size or try different, you know, cups. So sometimes if you're going down a cup size, you go up, a, you know, a back size and to make sure that you've got options. So when you get it, you're not wasting time, basically. You can just try on either bra and then send back the one you don't, you don't need anymore. Now, if you're buying for somebody else, like this is um, like, I think a key bit of this video. If you're gifting, if you're a guy and you're buying for somebody else or, or a woman buying for somebody else, if you're buying lingerie for somebody else, there's one big thing that I want you to remember on the offset, but then there's some other tips that I have here too. First thing is, do not expect that you get to see what you're buying for somebody else, of course. Lingerie is a very personal thing. And just because you've gifted it, doesn't mean you get to be the one to indulge and delight in it. Just remember that when you're gifting, that we just wanna be generous um, through a really authentic space of generosity. And that means not expecting anything in return. But next up, okay, let's get into more, more practical side of um, gifting lingerie to somebody else. And my first tip on that is to just ask, when it comes to sizing, just ask. Um, obviously, if you really want to surprise somebody, you're not gonna have that opportunity, but you could actually just make sure it's a bit of a experience together. So you find out their size and um, ask, and then you could even just shop together so you can pick something out that you both like. And that way you kind of, you don't have to be worried too much that it's not gonna work, that the style of sizing isn't gonna work for the other person. But if you are absolutely insistent that you want this to be a surprise, then I can't believe I'm suggesting this, but you're gonna have to get a bit creepy, if I'm honest. You're gonna have to do some digging. Obviously make sure that this is okay. Don't go into anyone's underwear drawer unless you're absolutely okay and know that you're okay to do that with your partner. But I'm not saying to do that or that I would. But if I were to do this, I would be looking for the most newest looking 
um, bras or underwear and then checking the size from there. I would still double up my purchase though, but I would check the sizing on that and also make sure that I'm checking the brand. When I refer to the size guys on the website, um, I know that I've got the sizing absolutely spot on. The other thing is to not buy a bra. So if you are unsure about sizing, the easiest thing is to stay away from things where sizing is really important like bras and go for accessories or like knickers and underwear. Agent Provocateur have a really gorgeous knicker or panty um, which has bow details at the side which is absolutely great because that means that it's completely adjustable so if you've got the sizing a bit off and you're unsure that's a great gift to give somebody you get to give them luxury lingerie maybe with some accessories and not worry when it comes to color obviously this is a really personal choice again so i would actually be keeping an eye out on the things that they typically wear and i would try not to go out of anybody's comfort zone so if you know in their wardrobe they mainly wear black go for black if they like to experiment with bold colors go for that pick a vibrant red red for valentine's day groundbreaking and always i think if in any doubt at all go for black next up is style um, firstly, when it comes to picking the style of the lingerie, my first tip in that is to deprioritize your vision. You want to make sure that the person you're gifting to is going to be as comfortable and that your item is going to be as well received as possible. And in order to do that, that means you've got to deprioritize de your wants and needs and try to go after something that you think they'll be very happy with. Avoid anything with multiple straps that's too strappy or digs in and has weird cutouts. Um, don't go for that because they should really be picking those items for themselves and trying them on if they like privately so they can make sure that they're happy with them. I'd say those items are just a bit too risky. Although I would suggest if you're going for a full set, do grab a suspender belt. These are really flattering for all types of body types because they really um, accentuate the waist and everybody loves hold-ups, right? So I think it just takes the underwear gifting onto another edge of um, true um, luxury that is very um, mature as well and classy. So final do's and don'ts. Again, don't assume you're entitled to see it just because you've gifted it. Make sure you respect privacy if you're looking through somebody's underwear and uh, maybe just check with them first. Just ask. Don't forget you can just ask about the sizing and you don't have to be a weirdo about it. Be open. Once you ask, you open the door to explore things together and that can be a lot of fun. So why not just do that? Finally, why not just purchase a gift card? I know sometimes that's a bit like people don't like giving gift cards. I like receiving gift cards to the brands that I really love, but you could do, you know, something more basic as a gift like flowers, chocolates, etc., and then go for a little gift card. So you want to make it more of a, 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 a thing to do together or that she or they or he can do separately so i hope that helps with any gifting queries whether you're you know or buying queries whether you're buying for yourself or somebody else um and now let's move on to what i bought i love I love a bit of Asian provocateur and I love a bit of lingerie, so I couldn't resist it. I was doing a bit of a lingerie shop anyway, and I went on their website and discovered that they were having a sale. So I thought, Do you know what? I'm just gonna look at the sale items. And I picked up two really gorgeous sets, which I'm about to show you. Asian provocateur comes in this beautiful pink um, box. It's always really lovely and nicely packaged. Always love always love receiving this in the post. Everything comes in this really gorgeous pink packaging with a little sticker with the brand logo on it. I bought this really lovely blue set. So this is from um, the Lorna collection and it's the one that I showed you earlier that has many different colorways. This one was on sale and I think it was actually better than half price. Crumble seems to like it too. <laughs> So I opted for the thong and the bra in the, this gorgeous um, scallop detailing with some satin bows. It's really, really pretty. And I think actually the only mistake I made here was not purchasing the suspender bell. I tried this on and really loved it. I think I might just get a different colorway like black and go for the suspender belt 
or maybe the brown one and go for the suspender belt. But I love that now I have a blue, I have more blue underwear in my collection. Then I got this set. Um, I can't remember what this is called. I'll try and put the name of it below. Um, but it has the words Jetame um, embroidered across it in some detailing there. It's very cute and the words are interrupted with little red hearts. So this is a bit more sexy because it's black. Um, and I just really love a really simple black set and this one is absolutely gorgeous. The detailing isn't too intricate, it's actually quite simple but it's just something a little bit cute, it doesn't take itself too seriously and I just really love what I picked up and of course the sale is still going now and I think it's in the final, final days so you get an extra 10% off if you head to their website and I would definitely suggest to do that so you can get your packages in time for Valentine's Day. So thank you for watching, but before I go, I would love to know how important is your underwear game to you? Like, be honest about it. Do you actually care about this stuff? Are you aiming to buy anything like lingerie for somebody else for Valentine's Day? I'd also love to know what you thought of Agent Provocateur's Valentine's Day collection. Are they tempting at all? Do you think you can see yourself, I don't know, strutting around your bedroom? <laughs> the bedroom, the boudoir, in any of these items? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and you're looking for other things to gift instead of lingerie, do check out one of my other videos, which is on Valentine's Day gifting for him, her or them, which I'll try and pop up here. Hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day, beautiful people. Bye.